Ah. Hello everyone, my name is Brian and welcome to Overland Calling. Today we are looking at the MT RVR chair. Pretty sure it's supposed to stand for Mountain River, but I don't know that 100%. We're going to be going over comfort, durability, ease of setup, and how easy is it to transport when it's broken down. I'm also going to be doing a spec check on it. I'm going to actually go to the website, read through their specs, and see what I think of everything. So, all right, I got two weeks of having my butt in this chair on a camping road trip. So I think I got a pretty good idea of it. Let's get going. I travel around in all kinds of different environments, do a lot of camping. And with that, I get to really put gear to the test. I'm not just here to sell you crap. Now I'll put affiliate links on some of the stuff and I truly do appreciate it if you choose to use those links. But that's not what this is about. This is about me testing things out and helping you make a better decision to see if it's gonna be a good fit for you. So here it is all put together. We're gonna open it up. I'm gonna do this all in one take. So you know I didn't pull any fancy editing tricks while I spent 10 minutes trying to open the darn thing. All right, you find the Velcro strap. Open it up. Hold the legs when you do this, unless you wanna get hit in the face because it will try and open itself up. And that's fine. All right. Pay attention, this part matters. Butt bar. This is the one that you're gonna be sitting on. It'll, it's the one that comes out right here. So butt bar, it only has one position to click out. You're gonna pull it out, you're gonna click it. You're gonna go to your other butt bar. You're gonna pull it out and click it. Now you're gonna go to the back bars. You're gonna click them once. You're gonna go to the other back bar. You're gonna click it once and then a second time. And then you're gonna go to the last remaining back bar and take it for its second click. This is probably gonna be the hardest. You'll have to give it a little oomph. And then, bam, you are set up. If you don't do them in that order, it is harder to put together. Ask me how I know. I spent the first couple times trying to set this thing up, more than a couple curse words, and then finally I came up with this system. Let's go over how to actually break this thing down. I may stutter, I may say weird things, I'm not going to edit this. So, got the back bars in back bar number one in back bar number two in back bar yeah you, you get the idea both back bars all the way in but bar but bar two flip it upside down there's a little pull ring right here you have to pull that if it's giving you a hard time, just push in on these bars, pull, and then it flops down. I take the fabric and I shove it up inside of it. And then I squish everything down. Find that Velcro strap that is hiding in the most inopportune place. Wrap it around. and then Velcro it in place. Bam, that's it. May not look pretty, but the dang thing's together. Mash fabric back, nice comfy pillow, and then a nylon seat. Let's talk specs. I'm going on their website. MT RVR lounge chair website says manufacturer website says it's 189.99 at the time of this video which is august 17th easy folding and carrying yeah i mean it's not super easy to carry but i mean put it in your hand and carry it exceptional weight capacity with an impressive weight capacity of 600 pounds i have no idea if that's true or not I'll tell you what though, 200 pounds of 
old dad bod, yeah, it holds. 200 pounds, no problem. Premium nylon comfort. Yeah, I'll buy that one. Aluminum alloy frame. Yeah, okay. Sure, it hasn't broken on me yet. Breathable mesh back. Yeah, I'll say that. Now, I've been in the mountains for the most part, so it hasn't been the hottest it could be, but I haven't noticed anything bad. Patented support system. It supports me. Unmatched portability. Hmm. Eh, uh, no, there's more portable chairs around. I'll tell you what, though. The lounge aspect. <laughs> I don't care how far I got to carry this thing. I want that lounge back. I can't stand the low back chairs. Stylish and practical. Yeah, sure. I mean, 190 bucks for a camp chair. I, I wouldn't call it practical, but put your money in comfort and it's pretty hard to go wrong. All right, weight six pounds. Size when it's extended is 13.8 by 29.5 by 40.1 inches tall. Sure, I'll buy that. Comes with a one year warranty and it has upgraded rubber feet. Let's see what they're talking about here. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. All right, upgraded rubber feet. Yes, it works. You don't sink into the ground. Oh my God, that's so nice. My other camp chair, uh, yeah. First time I sat in it, it immediately drove itself into the ground. Hasn't happened once on these. Premium nylon, it's been, I mean, it looks like good nylon, um, great stitching. The patented hub, that's the thing in the middle that locks it together. It works really well. Uh, waterproof, honestly, I have no idea. I haven't had it out in the rain. I put it away. Good sewing, tear resistant. Easy to clean? Yes, it's easy to clean. I have gotten it dirty. Simple setup? Yeah. Stable comfort. All right, let's talk on this one a little bit. It is not the most stable chair I have ever sat in. I've had a couple instances, you know, I'm leaning for something and I'm like, oh crap, I'm gonna fall over. I haven't fallen over in it yet, but it is not the most stable chair that I've ever sat in. That being said, I just pay attention a little bit. As long as I kind of, you know, get my legs out, even out my weight, bam, super nice. Lifestyle proof. <laughs> well, it survived me for two weeks. I, I can't promise it'll make it through the trip. I am pretty rough on chairs. And that pretty much does it. So that's a spec check. Let's look at some of the other like real life things you'll run into. Height wise, it's one of the little like camp style side tables. It is the perfect height. If you don't have one of these, it also has two pockets here. The big pocket will hold a fair amount of stuff. What I use it for, my water bottle. Goes right in there, plenty of room. Second pocket, definitely big enough to hold any cell phones or anything like that. And more than adequate for a beverage of your choice. But anything the size of a Coke can fits in there, no problem. All right. So, pretty dang comfy. But if I'm gonna have a lounge chair, I usually mega lounge. So I got one of these little like tripod, they call them chairs. Nah, they're not chairs. This is the ultimate footrest. Kick back, enjoy life, and you're good to go. And for those of you on televisions, here's a QR code that you can use to take you to Amazon uh, if you're interested in purchasing it. Um, for everybody else, links in the description. I know y'all were looking at that view probably more than you were looking at me. Like, I get it. I've been staring at it for days myself. Um, so anyway, 190 bucks for me, it was worth it. Is it for everybody? No, absolutely not. I had tried one of the little like $35, I call them 
origami chairs, the ones that come with all the poles you have to put together, all that good stuff. I'll tell you what, I absolutely freaking hate it. I can't get that dang thing together. And if I do, I can't get the dang thing apart. So what was happening is I'd throw it in there, I'd take it with me, and I would never use the dang thing. This one, a couple seconds to set it up, a couple seconds to break it down. Too easy. So anyway, I hope this video helped you out. If there's anything you have questions about, um, leave it in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer them. Till next time, enjoy the ride.